In this video, you will learn how to record good quality data with your Emotive Epoch, whether you have the original Epoch, Epoch Plus, or the latest Epoch X. The first step is to wet the felt pads. Take the saline solution from your headset kit and apply it all over the sensor felt pads. You want to soak each felt pad so that it feels quite wet to touch. We recommend to go around the headset twice. If in doubt, add more saline. An alternative to this is to use a glass of saline solution. Take the felt pads out of their casing and submerge them directly in the glass of solution. You can easily make saline solution at home by adding half a teaspoon of salt to a cup or 240 mils of water. Connecting your headset. Plug the USB dongle into the computer, then switch on the headset, in that order. The headset switch is on when it is in the left position and off in the right position. When you plug in the USB dongle, a light will flash slowly. When the headset connects to the dongle, the other light will turn on, indicating that the dongle has paired. The first light will flash very quickly so that it looks quite dim. If the headset loses connection with the dongle, the dim light will flash slowly and the light indicating that the dongle is paired remains on. Before a long recording, make sure your headset is fully charged. You can do this by turning the headset on and check the battery percentage in the headset connection screen of a Motive app. Once your sensors are properly wet, you are ready to fit your headset. If you are someone with long hair, it's helpful to get most of the hair out of the way. The best hairstyle for this is a very high half ponytail, so that the ponytail sits on top of the head, tied loosely. Take the hair from above the ears against the grain. It really helps to make sure that the hair is going in the upwards direction to put the headset on, gently open the arms and starting from the top of the head, slide the headset down. The rubber comfort pads sit on the large bone behind your ears and tilt the headset until the front sensors are three fingers above your brows. Often putting on the headset in this way can twist the two sensors at the back of the head out of alignment. To fix this, push them down and ensure they are flush against the head. Now we need to work each sensor underneath the hair. Starting on one side, take each sensor, reach underneath it with your finger and sweep any hair out from underneath it. This step is very important, so take your time. Now let's check the signal quality map that shows how good the connections to the sensors are. The map is colour coded with black, red, orange, light green and dark green to indicate no signal, bad, poor, satisfactory and good signal quality respectively. The two sensors with the black dots inside them are the reference sensors. They must be green and not flickering to other colours for the signal to be good. Once you are confident the references are good, then work on each sensor that is not already dark green. The trick here is to adjust, add saline solution and then sit still for at least 5 seconds and wait for the sensor quality to settle before moving the sensor again. You won't be able to tell if your adjustment is working if you are moving continuously. So be patient. Once you have got all the sensors to be dark green, it is a good idea to inspect the data in the raw EEG tab of Emotive Pro. Set the channel spacing to 80 microvolts and sit still while you look at your signal. This is an example of a clean signal. Your brain waves should not be overlapping and they shouldn't look furry. It is also a good idea to check that the wireless connection is working well by clicking on the Data Packets tab in Emotive Pro. The sawtooth pattern should be smooth and there should be no vertical red lines which indicate that samples have been lost. If you are losing any packets, try moving away from other electronic devices such as televisions or wireless routers. It is also very useful if you can use a USB extension cable so that the dongle is well away from the computer. Now you're all set to record high quality EEG data with your Emotive headset.